Here's a really good personal computer with monstrous performance about its size, upgrade possibilities and price that may actually surprise you. The AMD backed SER5 mini PC series by B-Link have just dropped and it's time to inspect. Hey, really nice to meet you, Michael is my name and uh, welcome to the club where we inspect a lot of cool technologies and today we're going to talk about mini computers, those that you can put on the back of your monitor and could deliver remarkable performance or at least this is what B-Link, the company that have designed this AMD powered mini PC, are claiming. In this video we're going to make a thorough inspection in order to find out everything positive but also everything negative and help you to make the right buying decision or just to satisfy the hunger of getting to know something new. And B-Link are no strangers to the world of mini computers. They have successfully created a lot of Android based, Linux based and here Windows 11 Pro based mini computers. So let's inspect. Well, this combination sounds quite popular because there are a bunch of good makers that can give you seriously good performance. Dell, HP Inc and many others have their takes on how a small-sized computer should look like. But when it comes to great value, it's hard to beat B-Link for their price and the Chinese brand is stepping up its game each and every time they release something new. This time even the package looks cooler than usual. The rather new SER5 series logo, I think this design kind of shows gaming-oriented characteristics and kind of raises the expectations. As you can see in our case, it's the AMD 5560U processor with 16 gigs of RAM and 500 gigs of storage. We're gonna check in a moment whether any of the components can be upgraded. Read the user guide first. I can imagine that looking at the small box underneath is quite tempting, but at least checking on the connectivity ports and the main features makes good sense. Apparently there's a way to add an HDD as well. Very nicely wrapped and quite well built seems to be the new SER5 member. Bunch of connectivity ports and the design out of the box looks to be familiar. I have reviewed in the past an Intel-based mini PC by B-Link and it does look almost in the same way, which means that the company seem to be defining their brand identity already. What you can read at the bottom is priceless. They tell you about the F keys assignment so that you don't have to guess how to enter into the BIOS for instance. There are a few included accessories and here's the power adapter. The box is made of metal and plastic, about half of it is more or less a big heat sink so that we have good heat disposal. Good filling buttons and fair amount of ports so that we can connect the peripherals that we need. Fairly compact size, it's smaller than a book and can easily be attached on the rear side of a monitor with a corresponding VESA mount. If you want to hear about the geeky stuff, here are some specs. Processor is AMD Ryzen 5, the 5560U edition. RAM can be up to 32GB, DDR4, integrated GPU which supports dual 4K monitor setup, has all the current and latest wireless standards, including Wi-Fi 6E, storage is 500GB and could be expanded, and the operating system is Windows 11 Pro, licensed and activated. The specifications sound decent, in fact some of the components are really good for what it's worth. Uh, to be clear about it, looking at the size, most of the components inside are actually laptop grade and you're going to see most of these parts in laptops. For instance, the CPU being the AMD Ryzen 5560U, that's something that a lot of laptops these days are utilizing, no really fantastic performance. The RAM inside, we use SOD modules, they are the smaller ones, exactly those that you put inside the laptop. Uh, DDR4 uh, looks like Beeling decided not to opt for DDR5, which have some advantages, but obviously the price difference doesn't justify jumping to the newer generation. And DDR4 is, in my opinion, a very solid choice over here. Perhaps if we are looking for a bottleneck or for a component to blame, that would be the GPU. Because although AMD do not disclose this on their website, inside we have, or we should have, AMD Vega 6 with 2GB of RAM, which in terms of performance is a bit worse than the NVIDIA 1030, which is a fairly old adapter known for not so good performance. So I wouldn't call this a gaming computer, although for office tasks, browsing and uh, multimedia that's going to be perfect. You know that it already supports multiple monitors. Um, I haven't tested it myself, but it should be possible buying an NVMe to eGPU adapter so that you can buy 
an external graphics adapter and just connect it to this mini PC, but then you're going to lose the portability factor. So I'm not really sure if it's really worth doing with this computer. Now, there's a lot left to be tested, so we're gonna try some performance tests, but first, let's set up this computer and also find out about repairability and upgradability. The best news is that it's ready to use out of the box. No installation needed, the operating system is preloaded, you will of course have to finalize the account configuration, but it should take no more than a few minutes. Then the usual Windows 11 experience. It's the Pro Edition, so each and every feature of the operating system is there. We're gonna come back to the performance in a moment, let's take a quick look at the possibilities to upgrade or repair the unit. Using the included in the assembly SATA cable, you can add an extra 2.5 inch HD or SSD, know that it will connect via a SATA interface, so there's gonna be a performance limit down to the SATA interface throughput. Buying SSD is a good idea, but beware of what we just mentioned. We can well see the internal layout. Here's the included NVMe, the size is 512 gigs and you can of course upgrade to a bigger one, which is gonna cost extra money, of course. RAM with this series is by Crucial, the SSD is by Kingston. In a matter of fact, Crucial have disappointed a lot with some decisions taken in the last few years about swapping components without warning their users, which although is valid only for their M2 SSDs, makes you want to avoid them when it comes to RAM. The memory operates at 3200 Hz, which is very good for the overall PC performance. Looks like the components that you can't easily service are namely the CPU and the main board. But in case of RAM or storage malfunction, you can easily replace whichever component is faulty. So in short, repairability status is good, no special tools or skills are required. As for actual performance, the whole unit hardly exceeds power consumption of 35 watts, it is rather quiet and I've never managed to get it overheated. Most PC makers make quite serious stress testing for each and every new model anyway. If you need to work on office tasks or edit some photos or adjust some social media posts or just browse, well, that's more like a warm-up for this PC. Editing photos and videos actually works good with the remark that live previews of intensive video effects wouldn't play well due to the lack of good GPU. But when it comes to pure rendering, this CPU puts to shame a lot of its Intel competitors with its 6-core, 12-thread design. Games also run fine, well, at least those of them that wouldn't need too much of GPU power. Because remember, this is iGPU, integrated graphics. You can play Asphalt series, PUBG and so on. Some artificial benchmarkings confirm the state of the GPU and there is no need to dig any deeper because there are no dirty secrets or whatsoever. As for multimedia, it's hard to wish for more. 4K 60Hz output and you can have the ability to link two monitors together. Every kind of video is gonna run smoothly, you're gonna be able to enjoy all the latest codecs supported by the CPU on a hardware level. Connectivity-wise, it's a good too, Wi-Fi 6E, so wireless transfer speeds can be really quick and the latest AX wireless standard is supported. HDMI ports and enough of USB ports both at the front and the back of the box. You can attach flash drives, receivers for keyboard and mouse and many other types of devices that you need to. As for drawbacks, since this is AMD based PC, there is no Thunderbolt support, the lack of DDR5 capability, basic GPU performance and no option to order it with more than 500 gigs SSD. But as we found out, you can do an upgrade. So in my eyes, Billing have done fantastic job with their SER5 series. That's no brainer to be recommended because it covers pretty much everything that you would ever need from a desktop computer in a shape that is almost pocket sized. Fantastic CPU performance, RAM upgradeability up to 64 gigs and the ability to add a second drive. It means that yes, you can do some upgrades and this would be perfect for office work, for multimedia, even sometimes for some rather not so intensive gaming. So what do you think? Do you like the SER5 in this particular configuration? And do you think it brings the ultimate Windows 11 Pro experience? I think at a price less than $500, it's something you should seriously consider. Well, I'm eager to hear about your opinion. Comments are down below the video. 
as usual, more information about the product itself, link to buy it, as well as more information how you can support our work here, posted in the video description area. Thank you very much for watching this episode. I'm Michael, I look forward to seeing you in our next review. Bye!